Okay, this is a beginner's electronic. It's a 9 volt battery hooked up to a switch, which is hooked up to a little buzzer here. It works. And I'm going to go through how I did it, if you can't already see. So I, saw, I have a 9 volt battery clip right here. And then I have volt batteries hooked up. And what I've done with the positive, I've, I've gone ahead and soldered this to the positive side of the um, buzzer. Now what I've done with the switch was hooked it up to the negative part of the clip. And then hooked the other side up to the uh, buzzer here. It works very simple. I got all the parts except for the 9 volt battery at Radio Shack. Now I'm pretty sure you have all the uh, 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 9 volt battery at home. You probably don't have to switch the clip or the uh, buzzer yet, but Radio Shack sells them for very cheap. Like the buzzer, each one of these parts was like three, four bucks. They're not bad. And you can use this to like prank your friends. You know, just push the button. And I'll show you the bags of. Uh, I'll show you the bags. Here we go. The buzzer is. Well, the buzzer, yeah, is a piezo buzzer. It's a 12 volt DC. Go in the brighter light here. Focus. You probably can't see that. Anyway, it's normal stats. The voltage range is from 3, 3.0 to 20 volts. Uh, voltage current DC. Then the rated vo voltage is uh, 12. Which is the uh, average, I guess, or the recommended. The current consumption is, I, I don't know. Uh, this is really neat. Now for the switch. This is a simple uh, SPST push on off soft fuel switch. And there's no stats whatsoever on the back. So that's what I used to build it. And I showed you how to, how to build it. Very neat for beginners. And I tried fitting it in this tiny little product box. Didn't work. No, I couldn't. I, I need a drill, and uh, my father wouldn't let me use it. So there we go. That's the um, simple buzzer uh, with a switch.